Hello, everyone. This is the Seth Lewis Show. <clears throat> this is a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. This is me smoking a cigar. This is a... I, I don't actually know what that is. I think it's an elephant fly. This is a cow on a rocket-powered skateboard eating an ice cream cone. This is Waldo. This is a walking, talking piece of bacon. Because this is the internet. This is an obese dragon. And this is a flying frog. Okay, well, I've been saying I'm going to be doing this show, the Seth Lewis show, for about five years now, and I've never actually got around to doing it till just now. But anyways, I was digging around in my closet, and I found this box. And this is a memory box. And if you're not familiar with what a memory box is, it's basically a box that you make when you're younger, and you put all sorts of stuff in it that you can remember when you're older. And, um, I haven't looked in this box for probably a couple years now, and I thought I might as well check it out, see what's in here. I don't actually know what's in here. It could be anything. It, it, it might be, um, I don't know, uh, a, a CD of Paul Abdul or C-3PO. C-3PO make a CD? I don't know. But anyways, we're going to find out. Uh, before we begin, there's some of the decorations on the box. Uh, this is the uh, title thing. This is the lid. I've got a picture of Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. Uh, probably nobody knows who those two guys are, but um, for anyone who does, um, bonus points for today. Uh, that's Phineas. Uh, that's a family. That is Groucho Marx. And over here is Super Squirrel, a superhero I created. It's not really very good drawings, but I also got, um, I don't know if you can see this, this is my balloon home I planned when I was a kid. I was planning on creating this, like, hotel that would fly around on balloons, and there'd be, like, a ball pit and an arcade. It was just going to be awesome, and you could fly around, and it'd be made all of glass, so it'd be like you were walking out in the sky. But, um, I never got around to that because the government didn't want me to loan the money, and I just, I don't really want to talk about it. I mean, the government just... We can blame the government for everything. That was a little skip. I think it might have been the government that did that. Okay, let's see what's in my memory box here. All right, first thing here. This is a Snoopy thing. Hmm. I like this. This, I always thought I'd like give this to the girl in first grade and say, I, I love you. You're so sweet, but I never had the courage, so it's kind of wasted. Okay, and, um, oh, this is a radio. Uh, you just, um, actually, I think this is actually a computer mouse. Yeah, it's a com yeah, it's a computer mouse. But anyways, it's basically just, um, you want to use it. I don't really know why I put this in here. I, I think I thought when I was a kid it was a radio, but... It clearly a computer mouse. Okay, um, oh, here's a reward I got when I was a kid. This is, um, my Champion Marker Award. I got this when I was a kid. I was, um, my job in woodcutting class was to, I'm sorry, was to cut, uh, to, to, um, measure, put marks on the boards. So that was my job. I would mark the boards whenever the measurement. And I did such a good job that I won this award from my woodcutter guy, my carpenter guy in charge, and I got my picture taken with him, I got my picture taken with the uh, principal, and I was kind of hero for the day, so this is, this is the only award I ever won in school, so I'm really proud of it, it's really cool. Alright, let's see, what else is in the box here? Um, oh, you know, this, this is what I think is really funny. Are you guys ever aware of the Cracker Jack toys? Well, when I was a kid, like, you know, there used to be a whole bunch of different Cracker Jack toys. There's, like, a whistle, or all this, like, sort of cool stuff. And I just, I thought it was so funny that now all the Cracker Jack toys are basically pictures of Alexander Hamilton. Or, actually, it could be a picture of some guy. Some weird-looking, kind of looks like Roger Ebert or somebody. Actually, it kind of looks like me. It's a picture of me. They put a picture of me in the Cracker Jack toys. Seth Lewis, there I am. Uh, also, a little fact about Alexander Hamilton for today. 
from homeless child to 16-year-old immigrant, to one of America's most influential founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton's life is one of the most striking examples of the power of determination. He made immeasurable contributions to the, um, to the nation's fight for independence, the Constitution, and the role of government. Ironically, it was in his integrity and sense of honor that led to his death. He was shot by Aaron Burr in a duel after refusing to fire on Burr. He died on July 11th, 1804. It also has, like, there's also another one of these toys that's like a pencil holder. You put it right through the pencil, and it just looks like there's a man climbing up the pencil. So, basically now, the Cracker Jack toys are pieces of paper. That's what it's turned into. I don't... We have computers and the internet today, but the Cracker Jack toy somehow manages to be worse than they were, like, 40 years ago. I um, also got a few pictures here from my childhood. Uh, this is me. I was... I'd won... That, that was the other award I won. I won this award for being one of the best people in the tie-dye shirt. I was considered um, the best. I, I actually got the biggest trophy there. But yeah, I mean, I, clearly I wear that tie-dye shirt the best. I've always been good at that. I wish I had more tie-dye shirts because these guys, man, just it's just not the same. Oh, this is a picture of me being Santa Claus. And if you look closely, you can see that I'm Santa Claus and I'm being pulled by a bunch of alligators in a sleigh. That's actually kind of a cardboard box, and I kind of look more like Jesus or a fisherman than, um, than an actual um, Santa Claus. I don't... The budget was really bad. They didn't have any, like, reindeer suits, so they just gave them all a bunch of gator costumes. I'm like, okay, I can put you in the uh, cardboard box, and you, there's a fisherman hat, and they just... They didn't care about us when we were kids. Also, I whipped all those kids, like, I was like, I was, I got, like, obsessed with, like, whipping the kids with my reindeer whip, but I, I guess I just, I don't know. Um, let's see what else I got in here. I'm gonna be, um, no. Oh! Here is a picture of me, looking handsome as ever. This, this was actually, um, I actually have another one of these when I'm this old. But I've, I've misplaced that one. This is the one I have remaining. This is when I was like three or, or two. I'll, I'll post one of me today in the same little bib. I still got that bib, actually. I still wear it sometimes when I'm eating. It helps, you know, keep it clean. But I'll, I'll have to post that later on the internet. Oh, and this is me coming out, you know. I'm just being born, looking as handsome and as devilish as ever. And there's a guy in a mustache. Don't know. Think. I don't know. He looks kind of creepy. I don't know what he's doing there. I, I don't know who he was. We never figured that out. Oh, oh, and here's a bunch of kids we played with when we were little. Uh, they'd come to our house in their diapers and play with us, and it was awesome. We had baby adventures. It was like the Rugrats. Exactly like the Rugrats, which, if any of you don't know what the Rugrats is, it was the greatest television show ever made. It was... It, it was just incredible. I don't... I don't know how they did it. Citizen Kane of television. It was... Uh, this is my documentary on gray wolves. I lived in the um, wildernesses of North America for a little while, and I made um, some gray wolf documentaries. That was a very um, troubled time of my life. Amazing experience, though. Here is my elementary school diploma. It's actually my high school diploma. I don't have my elementary one. But I was very proud of that. And let's see what else is in here. This is taking a surprising amount of time. Here is my damn award. Uh, I got this damn award by um, stopping the dam from leaking. One time there was this leak in the Hoover Dam, this big hole, and this, all this water was coming out. And I like stopped it with a piece of gum, and everyone was like so pleased, so I got this little Hoover Dam award. And the, the, what you just saw there didn't happen. Just trust me, it didn't happen. Um, anyways, what else do I got here? Oh! Best Shoe Award too, Best Tie-Dye Award, and Best Shoe Award. That is pretty cool. Um, sorry for the shaky cam. It's necessary. What else do I got in here? Oh! This... This is something I don't want to talk about. Okay, what else do we got in here? Oh, it's so deep. Oh! 
perfume. I got this just in case, you know, just just in case I wanted to smell nice when I look through the box, you know, just in case I ever met a girl or anything, or just run into the box and grab it and just like spray it on me. Still, still. Oh, sorry. Cool. Oh yeah, I smell great. No, this was this was a great idea. Thank you, pass me, pass me nose. Okay, here. Yeah, let's see. Oh yes, this is the one ring to rule them all. It is a ring forged by the Dark Lord Sauron in Mordor. And, um, yeah, it's one of the most powerful rings of all time. Um, I wouldn't put this on yet, because if I did, I might summon the power of the Dark Lord. So, I'm just going to, um, put that down here. And, um, we're not going to use that today, at least. It's dangerous. It talks to me sometimes, actually. But anyways, um... Really, that's almost it. I do have this statue of Aragorn. Oh, and a, and a ruler. Got a ruler, in case I ever need a ruler for a book. But anyways, it's pretty much my memory box. Oh, and this, this rock, too. I just thought it was cool. I was on the railroad, and I just saw a rock, and I was like, hmm, yeah, cool rock. Anyways, uh, that ran a little longer than I expected, but 12 minutes, not that bad. Um... Let me know what you guys would put in your memory box. And, you know, like, um, there's plenty of other videos I do. I do, like, Fireside Tales. I do, probably going to do another Manly Challenge. Uh, probably something. But, but also, you know, in the comments, tell me what you think Michael Bay would put in a, in a, uh, in a memory box. Just, just because. I, I'm also planning on doing a Seth Lewis movie one day when I actually make money on these things. Anyways, here's a picture of a little girl and a puppy to close out the thing.